Hello guys, welcome to this first episode in this lo- sort of series that I'm going to be doing on how to make your own on how to make your own a uh, bot in Telegram. So, first off, just get Telegram. You can use it by going into this uh, webpage, which I'll also leave a link in the description, and just putting your phone number in and getting a Telegram account. And once you've done that, you come up here to this little to the search uh, bar that we have up here and just search for botfather which is over here and you start talking to him he will uh, you click on start he'll tell you that you can do a different things but what we want to do is create a new bot so we click create a new bot and now we can name him for simp- uh, just for simplifying things I'm just gonna name him hi and now the username the username has to be a unique na- username that is not taken by any other user in Telegram and always has to end with bot. I used a random uh, letters and at the end I just put uh, under slash bot and it worked and I got it first try and he gave me this. This is very important. Keep this number that we have here in mind. Uh, like write it down somewhere or just uh, remember it because this is the token of your bot this is uh, very important for later uh, communicating with your bot so now that we've created our bot we can go ahead and paste this token and now we can go to chrome here in chrome uh, I'm gonna leave you this link as well in the description you just paste the, the token where it says your token without erasing bot and you search for this web page. This web page will leave you will take you to this which uh, is a sort of terminal where all of them well, all the messages of your bot will be printed and listed here. Right now we know that our bot is active and, we, and if anyone were to send us a message uh, we would know about it because it says okay true result which means it will get results if we send any messages. But right now, it can only receive messages. So to make it actually uh, se- uh, respond to messages, there are many ways we can do this. But the way that we're going to be using today is using code and without any server. So I recommend using uh, PyCharm uh, just because it is a great tool for uh, it's a great tool uh, for a feature that I'm going to be showing you in a little bit. And I would recommend just taking the free one, which is a uh, free and open source, and it's available for Linux, Macs, and and Windows, so no problem with operating systems. And uh, I've already got it installed, but it's free; you can get it. Okay, now I'm already in a uh, PyCharm, and this is a code that I've made myself for my bot. But for uh, if you, but you can make your own uh, code. Uh, if you want, I will leave you a. Uh, I will leave you the code that I'm using right now uh, down in the description. And if you want to use my code, you will have to change a few things. First off, uh, this part over here, you will have to change your token with your actual token. So do you remember the token that a bot father gave you before? Just take it and paste it here so that it is uh, customized for your, um, for your uh, bot. One more thing, we also need to install an extra an external package for for our bot to work. So we to do that we have to go to file settings. Here we search for Python. Uh, go to project interpreter and click on the plus sign that we have on the and click on the plus sign that we have in the tall right of the screen and install and and search for a package called requests. I myself have already got it installed uh, here, so I won't be installing it again. But it's uh, you should install it if you want my code to work. Now, um, our code is right now functional. The only thing that I want to mention is that this little part here is a is an example that I've given you, so that you can r- run your code and it will work. Uh, but you can change this. You can change it to whatever you want, and put and customize it, and also customize a, any of the other code. Feel free to do that. If you find any any, if you find any bugs or any comments 
leave them in the GitHub that I in the in the issues part of my GitHub that I have uh, down in the description as well. So right now, uh, our this is just the code to actually run it. We have to go to the top right part of our screen here, where we have a green play but uh, play button, and when we click it, it will run our code. So right now we know that it's uh, working because it says hi now launching so right now it's launching and it hasn't given us any errors which is obviously a good sign which means that now this code will take receive our our messages and then answer to them whatever we've chosen so let's try it shall we we go back to telegram grab the grab the username that we've given to our bot search for it and we can start talking to him so he will be answering to our to our messages. So I hope that this was useful. I hope that you learned something. And if you want to learn how to do this, uh, how to run the code, but instead of ha uh, having to run it inside of PyCharm, you can run it in a server 24 hours so that it runs every single time that somebody wants to talk to your bot. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description of a of um, a video of me explaining how you can do this, how you can upload all of your code to a server, and how you can run all of the code that you need. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. Uh, again, all of the code and all of the web pages and all of the links down in the description. So thank you so much and see you.